a 3 watt LED garden light um, supplied by an eBay seller called WZAE Trade or WZAE Trade if you're American and this comes with a base, it comes with a light and a plug already fitted and it's rated 3 watts so let's uh, plug it into the tester Three point seven watts. That's all right. So let's open this. This is a uh, well sealed shut. I think this might be quite tricky to open. Time will tell. It really does look glued shut. The one of the most distinctive features looking at this initially is that the reflectors have these little sort of white sleeves on them. Not sure where that is, I'm sure we'll find out once it's open. If I can open this. Oh, this is going to be quite a... Uh... Oh, nope, 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 there it goes. Ah, it came open a lot easier than I was expecting. Okay, it's probably not very washproof now. Oh, blimey, it's absolutely full of gunk. So there's a glass lens in the front, and it's got a sort of um, folded round sort of um, seal. It's not just sort of coated either side, it's actually folded round like a sort of um, edging strip. This is going to be a mess. I'm guessing that's why it's got these little cups around the LEDs. Is this just glued in? I don't think the whole thing's potted completely. I think it's probably just a, a front assembly. Having said that, I'm not actually seeing any screws. So there is actually a possibility it might be glued completely. I don't think the thing will be full of goop. Well, I'm going to have to actually take it to bits now because uh, I've just actually pulled one of the wires off. Oh well. That's alright. I got this to take to bits. I was uh, looking at a few different options for uh, an outdoor light like this, just a low power one, just for ambient, continual, 24-7 type lighting. And uh, this is one, one of the options. The other one was to use a standard uh, GU10 fixture, which has the advantage that you can change the LED lamp in it when uh, it reduces in efficiency. And that may actually be a significant advantage. This one is not very serviceable at all. Oh, this one's really messy. I don't think this one's really intended ever to be opened. I can kind of see the LED module assembly moving, but uh, I'm not sure if it's just... I'm not sure if it's screwed in or not, because I'm not actually seeing any screws. I'm seeing what looks like an aluminium core style PCB. Unless there's a screw in the middle. Nope, not feeling anything there either. Hmm. This is just slightly annoying. If this uh, takes any longer, I think I'm going to have to pause the video and uh, I've got a horrible feeling this really is just physically glued in. Yeah, the 
this ain't pretty. That's not a screw, it's a solder pad. I don't see any screws in this at all around the edge. I think it really may actually be just um, physically glued in. Hard to tell. Certainly not a disassembly friendly construction. see various holes around it but nothing actually that's a, uh, well nothing that's got a screw in it basically. Nope, all the stickers have just come off the bottom. Yeah this is super messy. Oh there it goes, there it goes. Ugh. Oh that's fairly typical construction, it's what you'd expect. Oh well there's the earth wire just dangling off. Um, there are pillars at the bottom they could have drilled, um, probably too much effort for them. The circuit board, well the circuit board is one of those aluminium core PCBs with uh, the three LEDs in it, just pretty typical really. And then there's a little tiny inline module that you'd find in the typical um, GU10 style lights. Nothing really radical about this I shouldn't think, but uh, take a closer look if I'll Slip the circuit board side. Yeah, just the generic little thing that uses uh, that very common um, driver chip, usually one of the BP uh, style, the bright power type chips. Just actually looking at this. Uh, was that oh, there, actually, it was screwed in. I may have just used unreasonable force. Actually, it was clamped down. It uh, had two screws, and it was just clamped down by these two indentations at the side. Yeah, interesting. It's really nothing special, but yeah, it's really quite heavily waterproof, but not earthed. So if water does get in, that's not such a that's not such great news. But there you go. Interesting enough. <laughs>